Illinois Nation. So, WrestleMania 32 is basically three hours away. Yeah, three hours away. Right now, because whenever you watch this, it'll probably be whatever time it is when you guys are watching or it's already over. Whatever, I'm dragging myself into a hole right here. But anyway, today's WrestleMania, it's gonna be, looks pretty good. Like, I'm a, I, you already seen my predictions. Like, I don't know what else to say, but uh, pretty much the only thing I can say is like, probably there's a rumor that Goldberg is gonna return. Goldberg, all people, personally, they have to pay that guy a shit ton of cash to make one single appearance just to do that show because like Goldberg ain't gonna do this shit for cheap man this is Goldberg we're talking about but hey there's rumors of Goldberg coming out about so why not if they pay him enough cash because that guy needs cash he doesn't really need cash but he likes to get paid a lot so yeah if that happens it happens like I like to see that but like who where is he gonna run into like the, probably the main event because he's a no holds bar no, that's the Ambrose Brock Lesnar match. It's a no disqualification match between Triple H and Roman Reigns. Oh, by the way, I never picked my pick for that one because, like, me and my buddy were doing predictions. We were talking about Triple H versus Roman Reigns, but we never actually uh, predicted who's going to win that thing. Well, basically, it's obvious. It's an obvious answer. Roman Reigns is going to win this fucking shit because why not? Because like he's the basic Superman Samoan. God, God damn, I can't talk to him. So parched. But anyway, like that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna happen. Roman Reigns is gonna win that. Also, watched the Hall of Fame last night. It was pretty awesome. Watching the remaining members of the uh, Fabulous Freebirds dance their way out there in the beginning because Jimmy Garvin just went all out. <laughs> he was so out of breath. Michael Hayes is the only one that looks the same though. Wow, Jimmy Garvin, Jimmy Garvin, not Jimmy Arvin, what am I talking about? Jimmy Garvin just looks different, man. He looks like Richard Ryle. That's the guy's name. I had to look that guy's name up. Or he looks like the diabetes guy, Wilford Brimley. Got myself some diabetes. But hey, the, one, the two moments that I did not give a shit about during the Hall of Fame was Snoop Dogg's induction because like I love Snoop Dogg but I like his rap music and yeah basically that's it but I don't get why he's in the Celebrity Hall of Fame but fuck it that's what they do they just put him in there yet yeah, Lemmy's not in there and he died you would think that he would be in there but no okay and also whatever her name was the one that battled cancer I don't know the one who got the warrior award which Oh God, where do I start with the Warrior Award? Warrior wanted that award to go to the people that work behind the scenes. The ones that you don't even see, like the, the riggers and all that shit. The ones who do the actually, actually work their ass, like uh, the wrestlers work their ass off, but the people that produce the stage, build the ring and all that shit, technical sound, the music, all that stuff. Wasn't that supposed to go to them? But no, WWE has a be all political and just give it to somebody else like uh, it's not it's cool that that connor kid last year got it but seriously it was not meant for him like it was for the people that work behind the scenes that was the whole point or am i wrong on this i don't know you tell me oh what else but yeah michael hayes talking about the plane ride from hell i got a big laugh out of that because like yeah i almost peeing on linda <laughs> oh god uh, i was waiting for today that that was mentioned but he actually mentioned it and I almost died laughing <laughs> uh, I'm going all over the place okay I'm just gonna go all over the place Snoop Dogg the guy who inducted him with John Cena as soon as he came out I was like god this guy doesn't want to go away he's not gonna wrestle on the show but you know he's gonna show up and do some fucking shit that guy can't fucking go away he's like he is basically like his OVW character. Remember that guy's OVW when he's the prototype, where he's like a robot, which he fucking is, because like that guy has been overworking himself in the gym. Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know how John Cena does this. This guy's a machine, because like I seriously thought, a lot of us seriously thought that guy would be back to wrestle in the ring at Mania, because he was, we all thought he was going to pull a Royal Rumble like he did a couple years ago. 
where he was injured. He got surgery and then came back and won the Royal Rumble. Thank God that didn't happen, but he's gonna show up on WrestleMania anyway and do some fucking shit. Uh, what else are in the Hall of Fame? Oh, Jacqueline! Doesn't look old at all. She still looks the same after all these years. In her dabbing, I don't know what dabbing is, but I looked it up, but basically she just did this, which is funny. Oh, I heard her come out to her PMS music. That was awesome. Was it PMS that had that music, or did she have it before? Whatever, it's the PMS music. I'm gonna call it the PMS music. Young kids, PMS meant pretty mean sisters. It's not what you think. Although they did a play on words of it, because it is the Attitude Era. They did a lot of play on words up back then. Pretty Mean Sisters was Terry Runnels and Jacqueline and the forgotten member, Ryan Shamrock. Look it up, Google that shit. Although it's funny if you Google that shit because like Ryan Shamrock, what, I think her name is Alicia Webb. Yeah, actually wait, that was Ken Shamrock even though they both played brother and sister on TV, which I seriously thought back in the day they were actually brother and sister, but they're not. Dad, they were going out after and they were like fucking in Mexico and shit, which is funny. Or was that X-Pog that was fucking Ryan Shamrock? That's probably X-Pog because he gets into a bunch of shit. Yeah, Jacqueline got inducted by Dully Boys. They haven't been doing anything, but Dully Boys is fun to see him on there. And Dion actually got to talk instead of saying testify, which was hilarious. Uh, what else is going on there? Sting officially retiring. He actually said it. He doesn't have anything else to do, so why not go out on his own terms? Like, yeah, get nominated, retire, go out with a bang. That's pretty slick. I like how he did it. Ric Flair, man. He inducted him. Man, Ric Flair cries so much. It's funny, though, but he's Ric Flair. because He just cries so fucking much. Charlotte got booed, which is funny, but yeah. All three of those women are going to, like, burn down the... Take... What's the word? They're going to take down the house? It's going to be match of the night? Sacha Banks versus Becky Lynch versus Charlotte? Man, that match is going to be amazing. By the way, did anyone else notice Sexy Star in the audience? Man, what, what is Sexy Star doing there? It's like... I never thought anybody out... Well... I don't know, how does it work? Like, anybody can just show up, but I'm surprised they actually showed Sexy Star on camera. But Sexy Star still looks good. Also, I found it hilarious, Bob Backlund dancing to uh, uh, Michael Hayes' music. Because it's Bob Backlund of all people. You think he would not dance to that, because he's Bob Backlund. I'm just saying. Oh, Bob Michael Hayes almost giving the mic to Iron Sheik. Do not give a live mic to the Iron Sheik. You do not want Iron Sheik to go off on a mic. He's like, Brian Lee Blair, I fuck you in that camel clutch. I break your back in WrestleMania. Brian Lee Blair, you fucking Robberoni. Brian Lee Blair, you fucking faggot. That's what he said, not me. It's hilarious, look it up, because he just goes off on Brian B. Blair. I don't know why, he just doesn't like Brian B. Blair. Brian B. Blair, you fuck you in the camel clutch and fuck you up the ass. Oh, Iron Sheik, oh, is awesome to watch. I'm kind of forgetting what else the fuck there was on. I was like, yeah. Oh, Vader. It was awesome seeing Vader back. Talking about how his eye got popped out between him and Stan Hansen. Stan Hansen, I didn't really listen to all his shit, his induction speech, because I got a phone call during that, and I couldn't get, I had to take I had to take that phone call, but I missed some of it, which is pretty bad, but I get to, I'm gonna watch it in the reruns. Why can't I remember who else is in this shit? Oh, the Legacy Hall of Fame, which was pretty cool. I think that's the first time they're doing it this year. Or like a Pat O'Connor, Lou Fez, Ed Destrander, Lewis, that's some awesome names there. There's a bunch of other names that I can forget. Uh, oh, yeah, the Godfather still has it after all these years. He has an age. Well, he has age, but he still can dance. Like, he can just dance. Oh, God. The Godfather, man. So, I want to hear these road stories that are not kid-friendly appropriate, but fuck. The PG era, man. God damn. Hopefully, Godfather can go on YouTube one day and make a YouTube channel and just tell these stories. 
Because I don't want to hear these stories. I bet you anyone wants to hear these stories. <sighs> From the top of my head, I don't know what else is going on. But yeah, that's basically the Hall of Fame. Kind of not forgettable. Not really forgettable at all. But oh, by the way, I like how they just let him talk and talk. Because like, it's on the WWE Network, so it's not on a TV slot. So they just let them go on for a long time, which is pretty refreshing. Because like all the other Hall of Fames, they had a time limit and they told them like you have a certain amount of time to talk, which is fucking bullshit. But at least this now they got the network, so they can let just let them go on and on and on. Because Michael Hayes and Jimmy Garvin just went on, felt like on for hours, but it was awesome though. But yeah, well, I bet you anything was WrestleMania, we're gonna see a crazy ass bump from Shane McMahon. He's gonna do something crazy. And I gotta still gotta say, Dean Ambrose versus Brock, someone has to bleed in that shit. Somebody definitely has to bleed. But anyways, that's all I can think of right now. Yeah, basically it. But you guys are excited for WrestleMania 32? Because that's what I'm looking forward to today. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Holy shit. I am a fucking idiot. How can I forget Big Boss Man of all people? I am so fucking sorry, guys. Big Boss Man. So... Let me just say, it was emotional watching his speech, hearing stories of him, because it was big boss man and stuff. But hey, his wife, she is pretty fucking awesome, but her, his daughter, though, the one that talked, oh my god, she is beautiful. Hey, I like the big girls. I like the big girls, but hey, it's awesome to hear the big boss man's daughter talk. I would love to hear her other daughter talk, the one who was like not saying a thing she just stood there but hey i guess she didn't want to speak because she was shy and nervous and all but yeah big boss man getting inducted how could i forget that i feel so bad about that but hey seeing the knife stick at the end brought a big ass smile to my face and then telling stories about like them saying boss man didn't really cook pepper because the kids were making fun of them oh and big show laughing his ass off because of like the Coffin riding on top of the coffin. <laughs> oh god, that was horrible. It's stupid, but it was funny. Ah, yeah. By the way, Slick inducting him. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I miss Slick. But yeah, them calling him the Guardian Angel. I, there's a joke there, but I'm not gonna touch it because like he was called the Guardian Angel in WCW, and he did some stupid thing there with like. You know what? Look it up. Like is it? He was called a guardian angel, and he went backstage and was doing something, and like, just like, the people were like supposed to get into the ring, if you know what the hell the promo I'm talking about, because it was been talked about for years. But hey, like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that joke, because like, I could easily do a joke, but no, he is a guardian angel, even though he was called the guardian angel in WCW, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, big boss man being inducted, A+, because it got really emotional. Hey, I, I cried. What did you? Fuck, it's big boss man of all people. Uh, but yeah, sorry guys for not mentioning a big boss man. I, now I did. Yeah, shit happens guys. Like, sorry, like, I forgot everything that was... I forgot certain things, like, yeah. Really, really sorry. Who was that? By the way, who was that one kid that got told happy birthday and he was looking at the camera and had a deer in the headlight look? Oh yeah, the Godfather's grandson. Yeah, sorry. One more thing I gotta mention. Yeah, it's him wishing his grandson a happy birthday. And the kid looking into the camera, all like... The kid did not know what to do. <laughs> a bunch of people just looking at you like, man, I would do the same thing, but yeah. But that was kind of a funny moment there. But anyways, yeah, the big boss man getting inducted, emotional, very awesome to watch. And you got to hear the big boss man's hard time music for the last time. If you, I marked out for it. It's like doing hard time. I can't sing, but just look it up on YouTube. You know what sucks though? How come WWE 2K16 doesn't have his hard time theme music? If you ever take a trip down to Cobb County, Georgia, you better read the signs. Respect the law and order. You survive hard time. They got like the I'm a jive soul bro from his. Uh, Twin Towers tag team was Akeem, but they don't have hard time. That's kind of shitty though. But yeah, this 
Twin Towers music is pretty cool too, but, but still, but still though. Anyways, now I can say officially goodbye. Take it easy guys, bye. You know the big boss man, I'll make you walk.